A-Day, one of the greatest tragedies in our country's history. The Avengers unveiled their first helicarrier, the Chimera, equipped with an experimental reactor powered by the newly discovered element, Terrigen. It was a day of celebration and patriotism, but soon after the festivities commenced, it was clear something was very wrong. As can be seen in the archival footage, explosions on the Golden Gate Bridge split the Avengers' focus. By the time it was clear another attack had begun on the Chimera itself, Captain America was the last remaining Avenger aboard the vessel. The Chimera rose, as it was designed to do. Reports indicated a strange, low-frequency vibration as the Chimera crossed the bay. People felt it as far away as downtown San Francisco. Soon, the once still waters of the bay became choppy and agitated. Bystanders on the scene at A-Day recorded strange electrical emissions from the Chimera arcing to the waters of the bay. It was clear that something was happening aboard the helicarrier. With crowds fleeing in confusion and terror, the shaking dramatically increased in intensity. Buildings began to collapse across the city. Footage was captured of the Avengers desperately attempting to protect the crowds from the destruction, but it just wasn't enough. From the gathered footage of the crowds at the shoreline, it appeared there was some kind of explosion deep inside the helicarrier's hull. The shaking ceased, and for one brief moment, the Chimera hovered high above the bay, and then it fell like a rock into the waters below. It appeared the danger had passed, but then, from the Chimera's windows and portholes, a strange, dense blue mist belched forth, rapidly spreading across the waters, and then the city itself. Disaster aboard the Avengers flagship, the Chimera, leveled San Francisco, killing hundreds. Dozens of survivors infected with dangerous, unnatural abilities. The inhuman condition. Even the esteemed Dr. Banner couldn't deny the Avengers' negligence. In the weeks following A-Day, a congressional committee was formed to investigate those responsible. Tony Stark was implicated, with evidence submitted by George Tarleton and Monica Rappaccini, suggesting that their warnings of the potential dangers of the Chimera's reactor were ignored. With Captain America killed in the event, Dr. Bruce Banner stepped in to answer for their part in the tragedy. He admitted, under oath, that they were aware of possible faults in the new reactor, with public pressure mounting, Dr. Banner agreed that the Avengers should disband. Ms. Romanoff, would you say you are the second in command of the Avengers organization? No. Ah, uh, I don't suppose you could clarify. In Captain Rogers' absence, who speaks for the Avengers? We never had a formalized plan for what would happen if... I can do my best to speak on behalf of the others, but, but Cap, only Steve could have truly spoken for all of us. How many times do I have to explain this? We take the safety of civilians with utmost seriousness. And what happened on A-Day couldn't have been predicted. And we did everything we could to minimize the loss of life. So you're saying, for the record, that the Avengers do not pose a risk to the citizens of this country? I am saying that again. Is short-term memory a common problem among senators from... Why, then, would your colleague, Dr. Banner, say otherwise? Sorry, what? In his interview, Dr. Banner stated, in no uncertain terms, that he believed the Avengers could, and continue to be, a source of potential danger to the populace. When was the last time you had contact with Mr. Odinson? A few weeks after A-Day. Ah. And, uh, at that point, what did he have to say? He blamed himself, and us, for Cap's death. He said he was going out on his own to find another way to do good where he didn't put people in danger. We already hadn't seen each other in weeks when he put his hammer down at Cap's statue. You already knew that. Now, your transformation into the Hulk is not just at will. There are also emotional stimuli that can trigger the change and affect the duration, yes? 
<clears throat> yes, during times of um, extreme stress, the Hulk takes over for long periods of time. And does that concern you, given the events of the last few months? It does. It does. Could the same not be said for the rest of you? A self-proclaimed god, an erratic genius, a Soviet-born assassin, and a barely controllable monster. In light of recent events, can you say the Avengers pose no threat to the good citizens of this country? No, sir. No, I can't. Attention, all personnel. Effective immediately, this S.H.I.E.L.D. facility is officially decommissioned. While I am aware that the work is incomplete, a full evacuation is imperative. All employees are to return to S.H.I.E.L.D. Central for immediate debriefing and reassignment. All assets formerly assigned to this facility are to be left untouched. Do not approach the main site. Vacate in a quiet, orderly manner. I remind you that with the closing of this facility pursuant to S.H.I.E.L.D. Regulation 802, all agents are expressly forbidden to disclose any information about the whereabouts of this facility, nor any activities that were conducted on site. Commander M. Hill. We're leaving everything behind. All the hardware, the drives, everything. I don't like this any more than you, but given the circumstances, I don't think we have a choice. Hill gave me one exception. Quinjet F-530 should be scrubbed from the manifest. No one from AIM will know it's here. For your other concern, we'll flush the network before we shut the lights off. It's clear AIM does not have the same priorities as us, so I'm not taking chances. We've had shakeups before, but I'll be honest, since A-Day, this is uncharted territory for us all. In six months, my guess is S.H.I.E.L.D. will be dissolved entirely. I know you're freaked out, and that's good, because so am I. But I need you to keep up appearances for now. I've got your back. Um... I wanted to take... I, uh, I want to take this moment to personally apologize to the American people. The past is written. I know I can never erase what happened. But I do hope my actions today will help prevent a tragedy like this from ever happening again. It is my intention to abide by the ruling of this committee, and I will take the necessary steps to ensure the, the dissolution of our organization. <clears throat> Each of us had a part to play in the events of A-Day. Each of us has blood on our hands. I just hope someday the world can forgive us. Thank you. <laughs>